Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. I want to know everything. And today I wanted to invite you to go to Armenia. Let's go! But if this and welcome to Armenia! Armenia is located in the South Caucasian region of Eurasia. Armenia is the first Christian nation, as locals and diasporas would proudly tell you every chance they get. That's maybe why so much of the tourism around the best churches in Armenia. Armenians' roots date back in 8060 before century. Its capital just celebrated 2800th anniversary. They had a peaceful revolution where they danced and sang in the street and managed to overthrow a corrupt government. This is the type of contrast you will see everywhere in Armenia. The people in Armenia may seem hard on outside, but they are some of the warmest and most welcoming people on this beautiful planet. If you don't believe it, grab a bottle of wine, knock on someone's door, ask to come in and share a drink. See how quickly they welcome you into their home and put out a full spread for you like their new friend. This may be sound crazy, but give it a try during your stay in Armenia and you will be truly unique, amazed by Armenian welcoming charm. Now I would like to present to you 10 most beautiful sightseeing in Armenia. Number one is the Yerevan, capital of Armenia. Despite being one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, Yerevan has surprisingly little so to show for it in terms of historical building and monuments. This is because Soviet planners knocked down most of them in 1920s in attempt to create a perfect city in the vein of Paris or St. Petersburg. As such, Armenia capital now makes for its fascinating place to explore a Soviet-era building lie alongside wide avenues with some delightful old buildings and churches to be found scattered here and there. While Yerevan is certainly not a pretty city, it does have a lot going on and its streets positively trump with the life and count countless cafes and terraces occupy every street corner, square and park, as well as being home to the third of the country's reputation, the city also boasts lots of great cultural institutions in the shape of its many museums and theaters. Of those that haunting Armenian Genocide Museum is simply a must visit if you want to understand the horrific events that was profoundly impact in the nation to the nation and its people. With so many different sides to it, it is well worth spending a few days in Yerevan before heading off to explore the many incredible landscape and age-old historic sites that country has to offer. And number two in the list is Gehard Monastery. Lying on the outskirts of the picturesque town of Garni, Gehard Monastery is a very popular day trip destination from the capital, and it's certainly worth visiting if you have the chance. Carved out of the mountainside with majestic peaks overlooking it, the famous monastery has a beautiful church for you to wander around. There are also a number of gorgeous chapels showcasing some elaborate and intricate carvings with some part of the complex day dating all the way back in the 4th century. The monastery's setting setting is absolutely stunning. It's no surprise that it has long been a place of pilgrimage, with people having visited the site long before Christianity first found its way to Armenia. A must-see when in Armenia Gehard Monastery certainly won't disappoint with its incredible rock heaven churches and chapels and beautiful setting in the Azad River Gorge. Noravank number three. Surrounded by Radi Rev Cliff Falls, this incredible 13th century monastery is one of the most popular tourist sites in the country, and with good reason, sporting some beautiful facades that are fulling of elaborate carvings and motifs, Noravank is a delight to visit. Visitors can climb 
clamber up a steel stone staircase that winds up the side of the building if they want to explore the second floor. While the architecture is certainly stunning for its intricacy and age, the surrounding Amahu Valley is no less befitched. Hiking through the gorge is a delightful affair as the red brick walls tower above you. While the Surp Astvatsin Church is the site most photogenic feature, there is a couple of other lovely chapels and Hachkars Armenian cross stones for you to check it out. And number four is Lake Sevan. The largest lake in the whole of the Caucasus, Lake Sevan's tranquil waters seemingly stretch off into distance forever. It is a popular holiday destination among both locals and foreigners, alike due to the Fetro plethora of amazing recreational opportunities that is boast. Impressively old monasteries and churches such as Sevanavang and Hairavang can be found dotted along the scenic shores. However, is the Lake Muriat of fantastic beaches that entice most holidaymakers who come to lounge under golden sun or enjoy the incredible array of water sports and offer. Lying at around 2,000 meters above the sea level, Lake Sevan is widely considered to be the jewel of Armenia. Swimming um, in it, its inviting waters or sailing on its reflective surface are both popular pastimes with hiking and cycling among the coastline also popular. While some villages and towns among the lake shore are very laid back and make for a quiet getaway, others have lots of bars and nightclubs should you want it a more lovely holiday. Number 5 is Garni. Located just a short distance away from Yerevan at the foot of the Hosro Forest State Reserve, Garni is the enjoyable place to spend some time, although most people visit primarily to see its magnificent 1st century AD temple and delightful monastery, per se atop a cliff edge overlooking ululating hills and mountains, the Temple of Garni displays some beautiful Hellenic architecture. The 11th century Gehard Monastery has a fantastic fortified compound for you to explore, which encompasses a magnificent old church, elaborate carvings and hot springs. Although these two historic sites are deservedly its main attraction, Garni has much more to offer. The surround countryside has a plethora of great paths and trails for you to hike, cycle, or horseback ride along. Number 6. Horvirap Monastery Set among some absolutely jaw-dropping scenery, Horvirap Monastery is well worth a visit. A popular pilgrimage site, the monastery is renovated throughout the country for its stunning backdrop that sees Mount Ararat. Its exquisite chapel was remarkably built all the way back in 642 AD with later additions and extensions added over the centuries, meaning deep dungeon at the Iris in Horvirap that St. Gregory the Illuminator was imprisoned in the 3rd century. After being released, he helped convert the local king to Christianity, which led to Armenia become the first Christian nation. Number 7. Irony Wine Country As a grapes and vineyards has been Cultivated here for over 6,000 years, it should come as no surprise to learn that the Arani wine county boasts some of the nation's most delicious wines. Set among some stunning mountainous scenery, the vineyards blanket entire mountain sides and valley slopes with charming little farmhouses and wineries punctuating the countryside. While the, its fantastic local produce is what most people come for, the region also has come very interesting site for you to enjoy, such as the ancient, ancient church of St. Astvatsin and the Arinivan Caves, which are home for a fascinating archaeological site. Debet Canyon, number 8 home to astonishing array of little villages and towns which each boost their own unique look, feel and identity traveling through the Debet Canyon is a magical experience. Linking Armenia to Georgia, the canyon waves through some breathtaking beautiful landscapes with charming little villages dotted here and there. Each village has a world of fascinating historical site for you to check it out, with churches, chapels and forts all of the display.
Two of the main must-see attractions are fabulous monasteries of Hakpat and Sanahin, which lie along the route, with lots of great hiking trails snaking around the way from the small villages into surrounding mountains the bed canyon offers the perfect mix of history culture and nature number nine is goris lying on the banks of the vararak river in a scenic valley hammered in pound in by mountains goris in the southeast of the country is a lovely place to visit there are many fascinating historical and cultural landmarks for you to check it out alongside its amazing landscapes. The Plant City Tree Line streets are perfect for ambling peacefully along. As you stroll around, you'll come across lots of charming old stone houses, fantastic archaeolog archaeological museum and art gallery, as well as beautiful basilica that dates back in 4th century. Goris is a pleasant and peaceful town in which to spend a couple of days. The surrounding mountains and countryside are home of lots of antithetic trails and paths with Tatev Monastery and the fascinating old Knodoresk cave village, both nearby. Number 10 is Dilijan National Park. Nestled in the northeast of the country, Dilijan National Park bestcons nature, enthusiast and outdoor adventures with a breathtaking landscapes. Tranquil rolling hills and majestic mountains, ranges dominate the park, cloaked in dense forest where glistering streams men minder throughout the lush undercrowd. Amidst the diverse flora and fauna and hunting lakes that the scenery complementary but ancient monasteries dating back to 10th and 11th centuries, notable among those are Hagarstin, Goshavank, and Matosavank, each stepped in history and architectural splendor. Traversed by a network of winding paths and trails, the Lijan National Park offers an idyllic setting for hiking enthusiasts to explore its scenic wonders. Wherever strolling along the bubbling brooks or scaling mountain slopes, visitors are treated to an immersed experience amidst the park's natural beauty. Okay guys, that was all and thank you for visiting with me to Armenia and I hope you like it. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe or leave a comment and I hope to see you again on my channel. Bye!